So some young innovators got together and made the Yi M1. Young innovators, Yi. Yi, Yi, hear me? All right, so let's talk about this camera for a little bit. We ran around town playing with this. This is a micro four thirds camera with the Sony uh, EXM269, I think it is. Yeah, EXM269. That's the same um, sensor that you see in the GX8 from Panasonic. That's a pretty new camera. That one is like a thousand bucks. So this one comes in at under half that price with two lenses. So that makes it very interesting. That's a good sensor. And they've built a very inexpensive camera around that that's, they call it minimalistic, but I think I'm gonna call it simple. So let's talk about this minimalistic camera here. I'll take you a quick tour. So on top here, you've got the dial like you see on a lot of different cameras out there on the market. You've got panorama mode that's added to it above and beyond the you know, aperture, shutter, manual, the program mode, just the automatic mode. Uh, but we also have panorama and we also have to see that little S right there that's in a square, not the, not the regular S. Uh, that one is for speed burst, you know, like sort of a burst mode, like speed. Up here on the top, you've got our hot shoe, and you can mount up there. It's 125, fifth of a second as far as the sink goes. Then you got your shutter right there. You depress it a little bit to focus, and then push it down all the way to fire, just like everything else. And there's your wheel that you can control uh, with everything back here. Let's turn this on so you can see what's up. Hi, Shelf. How are you today? Let's hold down halfway to focus so it doesn't look dumb. So the focus, it's got like this huge grid here. You can tap anywhere in here. Anyway, so that's how you focus. But uh, you've got a few different controls here. So we have our you know, f-stop right here. Control that with the dial right now since it's in aperture priority mode. Shutter down there. Uh, you, can, you have to tap on these two. So there's a lot of tapping on the screen, guys. It's a lot of screen touch activity. But like when it's in manual mode, you have to tap back and forth between the shutter and the aperture. And then you can like, oh, let's stop it down a little bit to f4. And then your exposure compensation down here on the bottom. Looks like it's one third. You can swipe with this thing, just like regular old Android. Just slide, swipe on over here. Over here, we've got all of our different scene modes that are in the box. I wonder if they're gonna update this with new ones. I mean, since the operating system can probably handle updates easily, I would imagine. Then you have to swipe over here to change everything else, like your ISO. So there's not a lot at your fingertips. You have to do a lot of swiping and tapping, but you guys are used to that, right? You got your, you know, your different focus modes. I like it on just the standard rather than the continuous face detection, if you guys are into that. Uh, touch shooting, drive modes, different, different ones of those. Let's click on that, see what you got there. Continuous, you know, like delay, you get your different delays. Uh, let's do just single, single shot, there we go. And uh, then your metering modes here, which is like the multi-metering, which is like just uh, sort of around, and then the spot metering in the center, and then like just an average, you know, average. But I like it on spot. Let, let my subject be uh, what I judge the light with. All right, so that's the camera itself. As far as the other specs go, um, it does do video. It's 20 megapixel. That that sensor is a 20, 20 megapixel uh, sensor. And uh, on the back, we've got a three inch screen, so pretty good size screen. And it's 720 by 480, not a ridiculous number of dots, but it does just fine uh, in my opinion. So as far as um, why we have this, we grabbed it because we thought it might be a nice little extra video camera or something like that because of a couple different reasons. First off, it does 4K at 30 FPS, not 24, unfortunately, which why wouldn't they just release? Come on, dude, release a firmware to give us 24 on 4K and 2K because those only do, you know, the, the, the 30 FPS, but you can get 24 if you go down to 1080p, so huh? weird. So anyway, that's that. We have our SD card over here on the side, but another reason that we really like this is because there is a uh, micro, well, you got the micro USB, but over on the other side, that's HDMI. Now, here's the issue that I'm having with this myself. The lenses that it came with, throw them in the river, man. They look okay. Like, the, the optics are okay. A little bit of vignetting when it's, you know, wide open. It's not the, the most amazing, but they do look pretty good. But here's the problem. They give us a lens that's 42. Uh, 0.5 and that's going to be like an 85 millimeter lens once you have the 2x crop factor uh, You know in there, but it's a 1.8 mil you know 1.8. I'm sorry on the f-stop That's pretty wide open f 1.8 is pretty wide open at 85 millimeters The background is beautifully blurred out the bokeh looks really nice on on this lens But you can't focus it yourself and the autofocus really sucks on this camera I mean, it's like always seeking it doesn't know what's going on if it's if the light's not perfect if you don't have something like a, a really contrasty scene I ended up missing so many shots and getting mad and just turning on me like screw this i can't get the shot i'm just trying and trying and trying the horse was over there trying to steal an apple from a child and now the scene is over i'm just smashed it on the ground i'm like i missed it that was a shot of my life it's over it's gone so the autofocus is awful and we don't get it. Now there's a couple different modes on this. If you want to focus on stuff that's close, you can put it on macro and that can kind of help the auto focus along a little bit. But when you put it on macro, it won't let you go any higher than F3.5 to make sure I guess everything's in focus when you're focusing on something little. I don't know why they did that, but so that's that. And then we have a kit lens. It's 18 
to, uh, well, it, it turns into like 24 to 80. That's what you need to know. 24 to 80 is the, the 35 millimeter equivalent. And that one does let you focus and it's an okay lens. So my problem with that one is it's, it's not a constant aperture and it doesn't open up enough for you to be able to do much with it. I want something that's uh, nice and shallow. So really what I want is I want this body for like 250 bucks. That's what I want, guys. I want just the body by itself. I right know they got a couple different kits. You can get it with one lens or you can get it with two. I'd probably get it with one lens because it's compatible with the large myriad of micro four thirds lenses. And here's the other thing that's really interesting. Think about this. Ha ha! So, oh yes. There's also no viewfinder on that which i find to be really annoying i kept trying to because it's the type of i'm used to these i kept putting my face up to it and then like being like oh shit my eyes my just i just touched the the things really bright in my eyes so i'm used to that but i digress talk about this so these old lenses right there are lots and lots of micro four thirds adapters for these old lenses like the old leica lenses uh this one here is a helios i believe or what is this thing here yeah this thing's written in this okay this thing is an elvish lens right here see this wouldn't it be more of a goldy color? I don't know. It's elvish. Shut your mouth, it's elvish. This is an elvish lens. Got some orcish lenses. Orcish? A little bit orcish today. That's right, yeah. You can, like, you know, get some of these old lenses on eBay for like 30, 40 bucks, and they're amazing lenses. Get a micro four those adapter and then pop that on there. Then you've got an all manual lens, and now you've got something to talk about with this camera. So I would recommend this camera for someone who wants a low cost, minimal camera. Simple. Um, that has a you know good image sensor on the inside take the lenses throw them away unless you want to play around with them you can um, but really go out and grab some different lenses for this thing and you've got a nice low-cost micro four-thirds camera that'll get you into some some photography and get you into some 4k video and if you're doing videos for youtube and stuff 1080p that's pretty good just do not rely on the autofocus and know that you're going to have to do a little bit of swiping and a little bit of playing with the menus but otherwise it's the build quality is like a six or seven out of ten it's very lightweight um, plastic nice grip over here on the side so can't complain there for the money you're getting a lot but i would rather not have the lenses and that's pretty much the, the end of my little rant here all right guys go ahead and click on the stuff over is it over here i don't know where we put it we've moved things around now everything's strange so click on stuff wherever it is we've got awesome new t-shirts clothes your family clothes your wife clothes clothes your kids because we're clothing everybody up in here. All right, and click on all the stuff in the bottom. Um, if you want to click on my bottom, you can stalk me. Social media is all down there. All right, bye, guys. See you on the forums where you belong.